Yeah. Just oh, be very careful with that knife, please. Today we are going to be reviewing the Vivar 5-in-1 heat press machine. I was told I should smile more in my videos so this is why I look so cheesy all the time. And here I'm just taking out all the contraptions. Cheers! Cheers! It doesn't make that sound. This machine is a beast! Maybe we should look at instructions. Let's see how far we can let's see how far we can go without looking at the instructions. It feels very sturdy. Okay, yeah, I didn't get far at all with those instructions, so I read them for like two minutes and then we got to work. So you press this button here on the side and it goes on and then you're supposed to press mode and we're going to test the t-shirt and I think you to test it is like you start at 230 and then that that's the beginning time the set then you press the mode again and the temperature time is 355 so that's the finishing temperature that we have it at then test it there and when you press mode again the third time that shows that we're gonna do 25 seconds, right? And then I think you press it to set that, right? Okay. Yeah, so we're gonna hold it, this and turn off, right? Then you're supposed to place your shirt on the mat. Maybe we should iron it first. So let's put this here and give it a clip to iron. I'm so scared. This is scary. Nice and smooth. Okay, so I got one of these from Amazon. Let's just do it in this, this, this direction. So now let's just make sure this is good. And I'm finishing this for now. Get that. And then we can just guesstimate and check her right in the center. Right? Okay. So that means I have to iron this over again. So let's just turn this really quickly. Like so. Press you for like 10 seconds. Okay, that should be good. Yeah, 10 seconds up. Boom. It's not as scary as I thought it would be. Yeah, that press really quickly. So we get our adult one because this is an adult shirt. This Danny shirt. So we put it like that. And I'm just gonna check this right here. I hope it's in the center. You know what? You should probably like fold this, pinpoint the center, but I'm guessing it's this. And then yeah. So this is how it's gonna be. We're gonna ease this out. I hope this doesn't move. Are we supposed to put parchment paper on top of it? We're gonna check this here like that. We're gonna bring it, okay. We're gonna press it down. So after I press the little play button, you know the little triangle thing of it, temperature is going to rise to the starting temperature, which is 255 for t-shirts. And then the timer is going to start its countdown. When it's done, it's going to beep and the piece is ready. That's the beat. I remove the parchment paper and then I let the shirt cool. So it's cool now. Let's test it. Well, that was so easy to do, I did a bunch of other tops. These tops are based off the Paris and Nicole Way 2K baby tee patterns that will be available on my Etsy very soon. We decided to try the hat press next. Don't forget to plug out the device before switching plates. So plug out at the front, that little car there, and then plug out the power outlet thingy big at the back. 
and loosen the screws with the proper <laughs> screwdriver. Hold on, we're gonna do it here. But those are the two screws that I'm talking about. Right, that's a new screwdriver that we got. And we are going to loosen those screws and slide that top part out. And we also remove the underneath screws and remove the bottom plate. This is the bottom plate for the hat press. These two holes are going to go into these two screws here and then we're going to tighten them into place. Right, and this is the top part of the hat bit and we're going to slot it into the screw bits that we removed from the big top plate earlier. And then we're going to tighten those screws down and plug that cute little card back in. So you just have to raise these screws up a little bit goes into this little spot here and slots right into position. And you take your screwdriver and tighten those screws down. I had gotten a transfer for my Bambi Bay 2 logo done in glitter and it's super cute. So that's what we're going to do for the hat right now. You can see it, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. You can tell me if it looks straight. Definitely does not. Okay, so this little knob here, we're going to turn that because that adjusts the tightness of the height of the press. So it makes the distance between the top and the bottom press closer or further away. And because mm -hmm. like it was like a different dis distance between like the big plate and the big bottom plate and the big top plate. We had to make that a little tighter so the curve will go smoosh and tight on the hat. And this is how beautiful it looks. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It was a little off center but it was still cute. Right, so right now, that was so easy. We're gonna do the smaller little plate. Let's stop right here. So I'm thinking that this plate is just for bigger small designs, right? These plates are for plates. So this 8 inch one and the 10 inch one are for actual plates that you eat out of. Oh my gosh. You see this is why reading is fundamental. I should have read those instructions properly. But now I know. <laughs> anyways, I didn't have any plates to use for it anyways. Or I didn't have any heat transfers to plates. But I'm sure I would have gotten it done. You know what I mean? Yeah. This is a cute little plate and this is the design that we're going to be using for that. See how it fits just really neat right inside of it? So we don't need to use a whole big plate for that little small design. So right now we're just removing the bottom and top parts by loosening the screws again. And we added the big bottom piece again into the middle top the smallest plate. You know, those little screw things that we keep taking them off. Yeah. So right now we're going to remove the top part of the hat. Take out the screw from there and take out the screw from here. Clump, clump, clump. Then you pull and slide and bring it out like that. We added the big piece again, the big bottom piece, and then we attached the smallest plate and then prepped our shirt for the design. Tissy, 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 tissy. So I'm using the little Amazon thing that I got. I'll link it below. I think I said that before. Maybe, maybe not. And I don't know how I figured out this positioning, but it looked cute to me that it was supposed to be a pocket. And then you just press right there. And this one is so cute and small so that I don't have to use a big one for like that little tiny design, you know what I mean? Look how easily that peels off. Like, I am not scared of this thing anymore. This thing was so easy. I didn't have the right transfers for the mug or the tumbler thing, but judging by how easy it is, I know I wouldn't have a problem using that part of the press. I just have to find the right seller for those transfers. But here's everything I made in four hours after unboxing the heat press. I had absolutely zero issues with this app. It's very beginner friendly. So if you're looking to start a t-shirt, hoodie or hat print business, this is a great one to start out with and very affordable. I hope you enjoyed the video.